Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are doing our first motorcycle camping adventure. But before we do that, this is Jimmy. It's my new partner. Hi. And she has my old bike now and I now have a 900cc Norden 901 Expedition. So this is our setup. We have a 120 litre bag on the back and we're doing this a bit differently because that has a big deluxe double swag in it. And then that's got most of our stuff. Pannier boxes, 40 aside. I still haven't got mine yet. And I have already split the Norden panniers. And yeah, we are on our way. Feel the quiet and let's see how Jabine gets on the bike. Because we're still learning with all the weight. And the height. And the height, yeah. Yeah, there we go. There we go, you got it? Cool beans. Cool. She is there, look at my water. God. That feels a bit better. Cool. <laughs> You're back. Cool. And we have arrived. Yeah. Cool. As I said, we have arrived. Now to set up camp. So the swags in there. Maybe swag over here. Facing that way. We'll set up a fire as well. Foods in there. Maybe have a bit of a barbecue. Campsite mostly set up. Jimmy busy spraying herself so the bikes have most of our gear on it, so I'll probably migrate that later. Pannier boxes double as extra tables, which is great. Blow up mattress set up working beautifully with twin pillows because Jimmy needs lots of comfort, lots of water, camp chairs, kitchen set up. So what is on the menu tonight, Bunny? It's an Asian fusion. Bolognese pasta. Well, without the minced beef, unfortunately. So we substituted that with, what is it, Polish sausage and. Yeah, whatever we could find at our shop. But yeah, we're literally <laughs> out back camping now. So That's it. we are slumming it pretty hard, and the flies are madness. But yeah, let's give this cooking thing a try before the sun goes down because I am hungry and it has been a long day. Nice and long as well. Cool. That's open. There you go. Thank you very much. Now to chop sausage. 
and half an onion left. We've got some Doritos, some bacon, and some parmesan cheese. And then I need to use my knife in a sec to get the spaghetti sauce open because we didn't bring a can opener. So we're gonna betray the Italians and crack that in half, or we're gonna stick it in. Look, I'm already being blasphemous about using you know, fucking chopsticks. So. <laughs> chopsticks with Italian food. <laughs> Alrighty. So let's do that. We won't offend Straight. the Italians too much today. No, not today. <laughs> Alrighty. Alright, so we've got our pasta ready. And I was just about to cook the sauce because Matthew's already cut everything. Only for me to realize, yeah, we forgot to bring a can opener. So, uh, what are we doing now? That's why we have a bushcraft knife because I've done this before. Hopefully. Going better than last time. <laughs> and you're doing really well. <laughs> I'm more impressed with that knife. Jeez. <laughs> That's really good. What knife was it? It's the Gerber Survival. <sighs> Alright, one job done. And we've got a fire going now nice and warm. Mm -hmm. It is getting a bit chilly now, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And of course. Do we have a cloth? <laughs> <laughs> we I definitely that would do. do. It. <laughs> All right, we need to find the cloth. <laughs> so I've been cooking for a while. Fire's still going nicely. Pasta is cooked. Janine is cooking a five-star meal Try. in the middle of nowhere with a table and two boxes. And it is looking good. Still got a few things left, and we got a Tupperware. But lessons are being learned on <laughs> eating in the bush in the middle of nowhere. Gents, if you're trying to travel with your partner, don't take them straight out into the middle of nowhere. Do what I'm doing because you don't want to learn this lesson when you have to wake up and drive. 500 kilometers tomorrow as you can see that my face got brighter because I'm being looked at <laughs> <laughs> Luckily for us we get to go home And have a shower and Figure out how to do this better because we're gonna spend more time camping like this Before we've got a big trip planned to Cal Barry. Can you look at me so people can see? Thank you and um Ooh. Yeah, a couple of lessons have been learned. Um, one, don't touch the grid because it's very small and it's in the fire. It heats up really quickly. Second one, our tarp is too small. We need a bigger tarp. Tarps are quite important. Um, we think this table's good. And I think our gas bubble's running out. Is it running out? Yeah, it seems to be running out slowly, but the fire's still going, so we'll just finish it up over there. So bring extra gas bowls with is something caught that live folks learning on the fly. And yeah, two minute noodles. I really think, and the gas bowl just died. Cool, transferring stuff to fire before everything gets cold. Yep. All right, acting quick, the food is on the fire and the fire is not too hot. Do you want to have the tongs and I'll tong the spoon? <laughs> <laughs> you want to tongs the spoon? Actually, this is way too hot. Too hot, I think I've got to move that. Okay, cool, hold this. Thank you. Alrighty. Okay. At this point, this episode of Does Matthew Get to Keep the Hair on His Hands? Oh. Oh. Okay. It is looking pretty yummy, though. It and is looking pretty yummy. And I gotta say, it smells really good too. <laughs> yeah. So, we already live in Laverton in the middle of bloody nowhere. Where are we gonna buy another gas bottle from? Yeah. The other lesson that needs to be learned is, you know, don't let Janine cook on your gas bottle. <laughs> it's been used a few times. Also, it's not brand new. No. 
That's what I said. You said you punctured it, but it's been used a few times. Remember, it's this. I've actually. <laughs> It's the same gas bottle we used on our first date. Oh we my god! Margaret River, yeah. No, no, it's done some time. Oh goodness me! And that was how long ago, darling? Sure. Two years ago. Two years. Yes, two years ago. Almost exact. Is this time of year that we went camping? Yes. Time of year? Yes, that's true. I think it was March. Mid March, something like that. Do you still have hair on your legs? It's about to be medium, <laughs> medium well done. <laughs> and another thing is, is pot is not going to clean like a, the knot could be as complicated again. Yeah. It's going to destroy the pot. Eh? At least we learned that lesson. Yeah, and that's why you do it like this, otherwise. You learn <laughs> I don't want to wake up and do 500 days <laughs> tomorrow with a pot like this. this Cool, so food is complete. This is the outcome. We got our pasta. We got a what are we calling this? Camp pasta. Asian fusion version. Pasta. <laughs> the pasta. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, I've chosen to eat it with chopsticks because they're easy to clean, which means not that hungry, and this is gonna go back tomorrow. But I'd call this a success. And we got parmesan. So I'm going to douse my food in this and have and I'm gonna go eat by the fire because seriously we get to have a fire like there are not many places you can do that without getting bothered around here so yeah we're gonna go do that and it should be bedtime after that I'd say we're gonna sit by the fire oh yeah leave it there fire is going camp food is ready and we've got bush TV on tonight good morning everyone so we managed to survive the night and has been woken up by a million flies once we get up but we finished up and repacked up so we'd be ready to go when we normally are and had a really nice sleep. TJ Mean's just woken up as well. Say hello. Morning. And then yeah, she lives on the bikes. So I think what we'll do is, is if it is raining, I've got a awning that we'll set up and then gear will be packed into those and those will be put in front of the tent. And then, yeah, we'll be cruising. We've actually got very little pack up, which is nice. We've got a beautiful sunrise in the distance. But yeah, I'm not showing you guys the sunrise and stuff. And we're trying to get out of here quickly before the flies drive me insane. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Cheers, bye.